Okay, so let's start with the zone two training. So I think the message has been blown out of proportion that you're saying no zone two ever. What is your response to that? Zone two is something that you can do. I'm not anti-zone two. Like I just put that out there. I'm not anti-zone two. But when we look at time management for one, mm -hmm. and two, where the data is coming from to show that zone two improves metabolic flexibility, it's based on male physiology. So I'll unpack that a bit. When we are looking at sex differences, there are sex differences that are from birth. Actually, they begin in utero. And one of those inherent sex differences are the type of muscle fibers that women and men have. So we have things called glycolytic, that's our fast twitch, and we have oxidative, which is our slow endurance type fibers. Women, by the nature of XX, because we don't have anything outside of the binary XY for men and XX for women, mm -hmm. women, by the nature of being XX, are born with more of the endurant oxidative fibers. With that, they also have better mitochondria density. They have better mitochondrial proteins that allow for um, fuel to be used by the cells. And we have less of those fast twitch fibers as compared to men. So how that feeds forward to training in the everyday person is when we're looking at all the information out there about zone two to improve metabolic flexibility, to improve your oxidative capacity, it's based on the male data where men have to do more of that zone two to improve the oxidative fibers that they have. Mm. But for us women, we already have metabolic flexibility. It's inherent because across our menstrual cycle, we're switching between a preference for carbohydrate and fat. And that's an offshoot of the exposure of estrogen and to some extent progesterone that our body has on a monthly cycle. Mm -hmm. So by the nature of saying everyone needs to zone two, do zone two, it's a misstep for women. So I'm not saying don't do it. We can do it for our soul food. We can do it for, you know, stress release. We can do it as a chat as we're going for a walk with our friends. But there isn't the precedence that women have to spend so much time doing zone two. So we look at the recommendations that are coming out about zone two training they're saying between 45 and 90 minutes, four to five times a week. Oh. Right? Nobody's Who has got, time for that? Nobody has that time. Right. So we look at optimizing women's health and longevity. So we're not training for anything specific. We're not mm -hmm. training for a marathon or an Ironman or a 100-mile bike ride. That's a different kettle of fish. So if we're training for health and longevity, we want to improve women's glycolytic fibers. All right. So Stacy, can you define zone two training and are there benefits to zone two training? Yes. Yeah, so when we're looking to quantify intensity and stress on the body, we look at different zones. We have zone one, two, three, four, five. Some people say six and some companies are now saying zero. And zero is not been, I know, like <laughs> zero has not been quantified in sports science. So we don't pay attention to that. Zone two is going out and having a conversational pace where you're still like breathing hard, your heart rate is elevated, but it's not overly taxing. Mm -hmm. You can do it for a very long period of time. The benefit of zone two is it's cardiovascular health, right? So we are increasing our heart rate. We're creating more of a muscle pump. So we're stimulating the cardiac muscle. We're improving our blood flow. Um, and of course, stress release, right? It's, it's lower intensity. It's not too taxing in the body. We don't have a lot of cortisol that's released. So we're looking at it as the, a stress reliever. It's um, really good for improving our cardiovascular health, which then improves blood flow. For men, it improves metabolic flexibility. For women, we're, I mean, it does use more free fatty acids because it's lower intensity, but it doesn't invoke the same metabolic flexibility that we see with men.